Hey y'all, I hope you're having a great day, night, evening, whatever time you're watching this. This is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you to another on the target good, the good, the bad, the awesome, where we unbox and give my first reaction to all things pop culture, mainly Star Wars, Transformers, McFarland figures, anime, sprinkled in with a bunch of other stuff. So if you like those first reactions, if you like to see what I see, when you see, I see, you see we see hi see then go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and get notified when we have new videos and if you're doing that already thank you so so very much don't forget we do have our halfway to 5k giveaway going on just for a little bit longer as well as our 2000 subscriber giveaway there's a lot of giveaways going on so don't forget about that links in the description down below but today we got another 40th anniversary transformer collaboration where they collaborated at one of my favorite places to shop and get a good deal on some of these robots and that is the Target Optimus Prime and Autobot Bullseye 40th anniversary collaboration. So we're going to open this up, transform it, see what it's like and see if this thing is on the Target or does it miss its mark. Let's go do it. Here is Target Optimus Prime and Autobot Bullseye. Target exclusive crossover Optimus Prime. This is this is an oddity for me. This is my second crossover in a row that I'm doing. Like I said, I'm not usually a big crossover person, but I am a sucker for Optimus Prime, and I am a sucker for this red packaging. This package is adorable. Look at it. It looks so, so, so cute and amazing and awesome with this laser prime here who's red that red and black is what drew me to this i think it looks freaking amazing so here's the back of the box you can kind of see what you get 30 easy steps you get a bullseye uh you get his little you know trailer stuff here but you, unfortunately i don't think you get a blaster why no blaster target is it because it's a target truck that there's no blaster then should you should include a price scanner a price scanner or something like that or a shopping basket or uh, something that would give us some fun playability with this target prime however I do have a workaround solution that we'll talk about a little bit later, uh, but we want to get this guy out of the box to give you my first reaction, my first opinion on this, and see what uh, see what it's all about. And if you own Laser Prime or Scourge or any of those molds, then you're going to be pretty familiar with this one. So let's get this out of the box and onto my table. First of all, I just got to say, wowie, wow, 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 this thing is awesome. I mean, red and prime go together. Uh, this thing looks looks really, really good. Feels just like, you know, the Hasbro laser prime looks like. From a length standpoint, what we're looking at is about a foot long. Uh, so, you know, you can do a lot with 12 inches. Uh, three and a half inches tall, you can do a lot with that too as well. And then little, little bullseye right there. So, uh, this Let's, let's take a look at Bullseye really close. This is a remold of the Ravage uh, cassette, which makes no sense for Optimus Prime, but it makes sense for Bullseye. Why does Bullseye, why is the cassette here? Maybe he's not turns into a cassette, he turns into low, low prices or something like that. But look, you got the little, uh, the little Bullseye right there. He got it right there. Uh, but yeah, just like the, the uh, Soundwave cassette, uh, uh, Ravage cassette, but yeah, he has the head articulation that way and his feet just move uh, pretty much. But that is Bullseye. He is adorable. So there we go. Let's do one more kind of twirl around there. Boom. There we are. And then now we got the piece de resistance and that is uh, Target Prime. And so he is delivering hopefully he's delivering Transformers to Target because most Targets right now don't have anything. The cupboards are bare uh, for anything collector-wise. I just read, speaking of, uh, a new study that says uh, that adults uh, over 40, or is it over 40 or over 30, now are the number one toy purchasers uh, in, the, in the world. Uh, so passing preschoolers. So yay adults for having money and not, and not spending it responsibly. But... Yeah, he rolls really good. It's got the Target uh, little logo there. It's got the uh, old Peterbilt truck here. Uh, 
I don't know if that's Peterbilt, but anyway. But yeah, it looks the same on either side. We'll just pull up laser. I love the red and black attack here. This looks really, really good. Uh, I think it's a great color scheme for uh, Prime. Uh, so I can't wait to get them transformed into robot mode so that way I can show you. Uh, but that looks great. And then the, the trailer looks good. It's white. It, it reminds me of the uh, holiday one. That's that's white too as well. Uh, so and then you get the little Target logo. Uh, it's got a gappy right there. Huh. So anyway, but yeah, hollow and trailery looks just like it should. So let me do this. Let me pull in another vehicle and we'll just kind of compare them. So here he is compared to his brother from another mother scourge right here. Pretty much the same mold and everything. Uh, just this trailer is a little bit shorter, uh, but pretty much the same mold. You can let me pull the trailers off so you can kind of see just the cabs here. And we'll kind of stand them up a little bit right here so you can kind of see. Yep. Same mold. Same. Uh, same. Same, you can kind of see same height, same length, same mold. See, so just like the Laser Prime 2 as well, it is the same. Uh, so that's how he compares there, as well as here is Core Class Optimus with his trailer. Uh, you can kind of see from a size standpoint there. So let's do this. We're going to get him transformed. Uh, now, I'm not going to show you me, maybe I, maybe I won't show you, show me, there's plenty of videos out there of the transformation of this from Scourge to Laser Prime. There's plenty of videos, so you don't need to see that. What you want to see is the robot mode. So let's do that. Let's get him into robot mode. Let's get Bullseye into cassette or price scanner mode, whatever he is. And let's get the trailer into trailer mode. And let's do it. And here we have, folks, it is Laser Prime or Target Prime, as he is called because of this packaging. And I love the color scheme. It has a very, I don't know how you call it, Japanese Gundam. I don't know. It has a very, very Japanese kind of uh, color scheme to it with that red, the black, and the white, and the silver. Just very, very clean. This looks very, very cool. I'm so excited, but there's something that's missing and there's no roller. There's no blaster. There's no sword. There's no roller. What you get, you do get bullseye. He can go into this tape mode right here. And he has a little doohickey right here that you can kind of just put him in Prime's hand like so, which makes him into, I don't know what that is. It's just a tape in his hand or whatever it may we'll just call it again a price scanner this is a price scanner uh to to make sure that you get the low low prices now you could take this part right here and put it in his other hand if you want to too as well but nothing nothing uh on that so but before we get into my uh fix on that we'll let's scoot the trailer out of the way and let's bring uh the prime target prime up here my eyes are up here. There he is. Classic pig. There we are. This the awesome looking robot he is. I mean, just uh, the paint on here is phenomenal. The I love that the Autobot logos here are right side up, unlike my Scourge where they're upside down. Uh, and then you got the white, the red. You also have the Matrix of Leadership right there it's a red and white one and i believe it does remove uh you can pop that out yep you can definitely pop that out and have him hold that if you want to uh but very 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 nice and of course you got his big old shoulders with his guns or his uh uh markdown pieces there uh you got the little backpack of the the semi uh the semi cab there and then i mean you got the open right back here like just like the other ones 
articulation wise, just like the others, you have that arm goes up, arm goes back, arm goes out, 90 degrees, twist, no ab crunch, Van Dam, 90 degree, more than 90 degrees, and tilt. And this kind of rocks up and down too as well. So that's what you got. And you got twist at the ankles too and twist at the elbows and all that good stuff too. Higgins, hey stop it. So that is the articulation for him of good old laser prime. And we'll kind of pop my camera down. So from a height standpoint, what you're looking at is all the way to his top 90s, 80s shoulder pads, about seven and a half inches uh, tall. So, uh, and then let's take a look at the trailer here. And the trailer's just straight up white. Maybe maybe Toy Hacks will make something cool, uh, but you got that red and white, which looks really good. And this comes off. This also comes off and can act as a shield if you want it to, um, but no blaster, no sword. But I have a solution for roller, uh, so, at Target, you get to spend a little bit more money, but let me show you here. Let me move my camera back in. Boom. So you can get the semi, but it's this part right here that I want, and we will get him out of the box. Those in the box Hot Wheels collectors are screaming right now, screaming at me, saying you can open that better. And now I have a roller. So there is my roller that I'm gonna use with this. It's gonna be, it's a Hot Wheels roller. It looks like a little shopping cart. I think that's pretty cool. Made out of die cast. It's the only thing now in this whole collection that is made of die cast and it rolls uh, just the way you'd want it. And I can just set it right in there. Not quite as big as a roller would be, but I mean, hey, good enough for what I need it to do. I have a shopping cart roller and then I have my Target Prime there. So, 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 so cool. So let's do this. Let me bring some other bots in and we will compare him to them. First of all, here is Scourge right next to him. Who would win in a fight? Target Prime or Scourge? Scourge with his sword and shield or Target Prime with his bullseye price checker thingy. Who would win? Probably Scourge on this one because of uh, he's got more weapons. But I think in matter of looks, I mean, I dig the neon over here, the neon on him, but I, I really do like the red and black. I uh, I can't say this enough. I, I love this. If you didn't tell me it was a Target truck, I would still probably get this mold just for those colors. I mean, these colors just look freaking phenomenal. Uh, so we'll move Scourge to the side. Let's start with the smallest prime I've got, and that's Dr. Wu. So you can kind of see there from a size standpoint, Dr. Wu, and then we'll move Dr. Wu. Let's bring in Core Optimus. There he is from a size standpoint. Let's bring in Legend Scale Magic Square Optimus. There you are. And let's bring in Earthrise Optimus. And I guess worst case scenario, if I want to take a gun from somebody, I'll just take it from him. Uh, Earthrise uh, Optimus, the Netflix War for Cybertron one. Um, and then let's bring in my last one, which is Magic Square Masterpiece Scale Light of Peace. And whoop, whoop, out, of frame, out, of, out of my uh, white picture frame shot there, but there they are. So that's how he scales with them. So let us do this. Let's get back together to talk through some of my final thoughts around Target Prime and Bullseye. So here we are back with my final thoughts on Target Prime and Bullseye. Let's bring in Bullseye first. Let's take a look at this cute little guy. Again, Ravage uh, repaint here, but love the little Bullseye on his, his, his uh, face there. And then uh, just the white and red going along with the theme. Uh, really, really nice little doggy there. Uh, and then uh, let's bring in Target Prime. And there he is. Now, if this was not a Target truck, I would have probably bought it just for the colors alone. The black, the red, the silver, and the white really, really, really pop on this. It looks looks almost Gundam-ish, you know, a little bit, but um, it's, I don't know if Gundam-ish is the right word, but very, very uh, 
Japanese? I don't know if that's the right word either, but uh, this thing is freaking phenomenal. I mean, we've all seen this mold before. It's Laser Prime, uh, but between Laser Prime Scourge and this, I like the colors on this one so much better. You may, y'all may disagree. You may like the, the original Prime colors or the Scourge. The Scourge Neon is very, very cool, but the colors on this is great. I mean, it it's really nice. He has his 80s shoulder pads or his boom boxes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and then this thing here, but the bad part is he does not come with a blaster or a roller or anything like that. I think Target missed a, a very good opportunity to give him like a price scanner and uh, maybe a shopping cart. And so what I had to do was I had to buy the Hot Wheels Target exclusive and get this little shopping cart to kind of substitute as roller. And so this is my roller for right now. Uh, so, uh, and you had to pick, I had to pay eight bucks to get, just to get this little piece. Although I have the semi too. I don't know if I'll pull that semi. I might keep that semi, I don't know. But just to get this as my roller for my Target Prime. So. On a scale of good, bad, awesome, I think this thing is freaking awesome. And what's great is uh, I was able to pick him up. I, I pre-ordered him for $69, but then uh, somebody else was able to pick him up for like $35, I think $35 uh, or $33, $33.99. And so I was able to take his receipt, go to my Target and say, hey, this rang up this way for someone else, and they gave it to me for $33.99, uh, which is a bargain and a steal for this bot here for this bot it's just a bargain and a steal on it and i would say you should get it i think it's really great if you don't own the laser prime mold this is a great one uh for you to kind of uh to get into just with the colors and stuff and if you do i think it just looks cool i think it just looks cool if you have an extra blaster you can always put an extra blaster in his hand or whatever you want to do but um on a scale of good bad awesome this thing's freaking awesome it's it's uh, everyday low 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 price is awesome on this i almost bought the target barbie just so i can get him a shopping bag and a shopping little little uh like uh basket that he can kind of carry around but you know what i did i ordered one on amazon i ordered a little shopping basket so so on one hand he'll have this and the other hand he'll have a little shopping basket that he can carry bullseye around in that will be kind of cool uh but yeah that's all i gotta say about it very very cool very nice i love this thing go out to your local target and, and pick them up i think you won't be disappointed i'd love to see if toy hacks does anything cool with this i don't know if they will maybe maybe not it would be cool if Walmart came out with their blue truck and then you can have like a Walmart versus Target uh, primes or maybe, I don't know, maybe Walmart comes out with a blue tank for Megatron <laughs> and then uh, or the Fallen or something like that. Then we have just this battle and then we have Amazon Prime come in here and then we have uh, uh, Macy's and Belk and, and the ever so dying JC Pennies. JC Pennies can be like old Prime, the gray dying one there. So, but this is it. This is great uh, and I can't wait for y'all to experience it. So tune in next time when we talk about something else good bad or awesome but in the meantime y'all remember to stay young have fun and be awesome we'll talk to you later bye bye now